Hi, I'm Debbie Samples, Legacy Executive Director at Powerhouse Enterprises in Dayton, Ohio. Today, we're going to be talking about the Smidget Game, which is a dating game that you can play at the parties. To start off with, I want to explain to you how to set, set this up. You will need smidgets and several of them. It's always best to have them be the same color. Inside each smidget, you're going to place a piece of paper. On this piece of paper, it will either say that you win Tupper Bucks. Um, $200, $300, or $400, and then the other piece of paper will say that you win a party and $1,000. Now at all of my parties, I will play uh, the auction game, which is where you have Tupper Bucks. And if you don't use Tupper Bucks at your party, you can play the smidget game by having on one piece of paper say that you win a gift, and on the other piece of paper say that you win a, a party plus, plus a gift. Now the idea is, is to put, put those different words on different colors of paper. In other words, you're only going to need two, two colors of paper. The, the ones where they win just the Tupper Bucks gets one color of paper, and then the other one where they win a party gets another color of paper. When you're at the party, to help you set this up, you're always going to need to know how many people are in the room. And then pull out however many smidgets that you have for people in the room, but they must be equal numbers. In other words, if you have five guests at the party, you're going to need three smidgets that say that you just win Tupper Bucks, and three smidgets that say that you win, that you win a party and the Tupper Bucks. Um, sometime during the middle of the party is when I will usually play this and um, what I'll do is I will hold one of the smidgets up after I've pulled them out of my bag and, and put them on a, on a Tupperware product of course and um, tell them look what I've got and it's, it's amazing how many of their heads will just automatically pop up. I have one of these for each of you. This is called a smidget. It holds a smidget of this and a smidget of that. It's actually half the size of a midget and that's why they call it a smidget. These have airtight liquid tight seals and I would like for you to tell me what you're going to use this for when you get it home. But the thing to remember is don't open it because if you open it then the peak alarm goes off and the peak alarm goes beep 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 and when the peak alarm goes off then the Tupperware fairy comes to your house and changes all your Tupperware into Rubbermaid. And then you will pass them out and let each person hold on to them. Uh, now, um, what you want them to do is take possession of this. So you grab onto one of the smidgets, an extra one that might be left over, and you tell them, hold on to your smidget and hold this near and dear and close to your heart and tell me what you're going to use it for when you get it home. Now, whatever they tell you, I want you to know is the most wonderful thing that you've ever heard in your whole entire life. Um, at every party, you are going to hear that they're going to put their change in here or they're going to put their medication in here. And whatever they tell you is a wonderful idea. That's such a great idea. So make sure that they always feel good about, about what, they, what they're going to put in their smidget. Um, at that point then, ask them to hold on to their smidgets a little bit. Do not have them put them in their purse because they'll never find them again. Just hold on to that smidget and you can continue with your demonstration. You can talk about dating parties also, you know, if you haven't demonstrated the hostess gift special. When you're all done with the demonstration part of your party, that's when you want to get them excited. And one thing that I do at a party to get people excited is to give them more money. So I always ask them, who would like an extra five, uh, actually, I not, not at that point yet. I don't ask that, but I do ask this. And that is, um, are you having a good time today? Because if you're having a good time, I have $200 for you. So they'll go, woo, they, they're having a great time. But if you're having a blast, I have $400 for you. Now hold the money up and they go, woo, and you get the wave going throughout the room and you pay them the $400. At this point, they're laughing, they're having a great time and got their spirits up. That's when you roll into the smidget game. Okay, who wants more money? And that, they'll say, I want more money. Okay, everyone, go ahead and find your smidget. This is the last chance you're gonna get to win Tupper Bucks so that you can win the bags of Tupperware at the end of the party. Um, and you're gonna get a chance to decide if you'd like to have a party. Now, it's very important to say that when they're digging in their purses, they've heard it, whether they talk and talk and talking, but they have heard you say you're gonna get a chance to decide if you'd like to have a party. Everyone then pulls out, out their smidget and remember, they can't open it. Go ahead and look in the top of your smidget. And you see there's a piece of paper in there. On that piece of paper, it says that you get to, that you get to win Tupper Bucks. You could win $200, $300, $400. There's even one in there that says you win $1,000. Everybody go, woo, $1,000. And it's funny because they will all go, go woo, $1,000. Now, in all of them, it says that you get to, get to win Tupper Bucks. But in half of them, and only half of them, it says that you get to win a party. And when you win a party, then you get to win me for your party. Now, uh, so if you're thinking about having a party or you know you do want to have a party, make sure that you keep that you keep your smidget and you play because you're going to get three choices. The first choice is that you may pass. And when you pass, then you give me your smidget back and you're all done. No smidget, no money, all done. Make it sound final. 
Then the second choice is that you may play. And when you play, then you get to keep your smidget, you get to win the amount of money it says that, that you win inside your smidget, plus you have a 50-50 chance of winning a party. And then there's the third choice, and that's the best choice, and that's the I want it all choice. And when you take the I want it all choice, then you get everything. You do get to keep your smidget, you do get to win a party, you are going to get $2,000 right up front, plus the amount of money that it says you win inside your smidget gets doubled. So you have three choices. You can pass, you can play, or you can take that third choice that, that really is the best choice. Now I do want you to know that if you really feel the worst thing that could ever happen to you in your whole entire life is to be stuck with me for one Tupperware party, then you might not want to play. And if they laugh at that, just say thank you for laughing. And, and, and then you, you do this, and I want you to know this is the most important part. You put your hand in the air and you ask this question, does everybody understand? Are there any questions? And this then will, will allow them to ask questions. If you do not put your hand in the air, you're blocking yourself off. They will not ask you questions, so you must put your hand in the air. Make sure everybody understands. Then to play the game, you're going to go to the person that you know or you're pretty sure is going to say, woohoo, I want number three. So you ask them directly. Each person will get this question. So what would, what would you like to do? Are you, would you like to pass or would you like to play or would you like to take number three, the best one? And when, when you do this, they're going to go, oh, okay, I'll take number three. And when they say, woo, I want number three, I want you to say, woo, everybody say, yay, she's taking a party. And then you pay her her $2,000, but she cannot open that smidget. She cannot open the smidget until you have gone all the way around the room and asked everybody, because remember, the color of the paper indicates what it says in, inside your smidget. So after everybody's gone, gone around and yes, they're going to play or they're, they're going to take number three or they're going to pass, that's when you can have them open up their smidget, you pay them the amount of money that, that they win, and then also the people who, who have won a party, remember, you're going to double their money, so they're going to get another $2,000. And if people are playing and they win a party, we always say, yay, they won a party, and everybody in the room will say, yay, they won a party. Now, the one thing that's so nice about playing this midget game is that it allows them to date a party before they bring the order to you, so that you already have parties scheduled before they bring orders to you. But this does not mean that when they bring the order to you, people who have not dated a party, this does not mean that you don't talk to them about having a party. This is just one way of dating parties at the party, and it gives you a great jump start on the datings, but still, everyone who did not date a party, or if they just won Tupper Bucks and they decided to play, of course they were thinking about having a party, that's why they played. So always, always talk to them when, when they bring the order to you. So enjoy this smidget game. It, it, it works very, very well, and, and have fun with it. So happy datings to you.